got a lampshade because it's, it's too dark in here. So I just took this off and I'm like, hey, what's up? I just, I want rainy day. Hi everyone, it's Duran here and I am gonna do April's favorites. So exciting. Do you like my hair today? Do you like it? It's like a 80s. There's somebody yelling outside. <laughs> I don't know who they are. Um, let's start with one that is not a beauty product. It's a smelly good product. This is Glade and it's lavender and juniper berry. But I really like this though because it's a refillable one. So you get, cause I'm really big into multi-use purposes. I just opened this, I promise, and I can't get it open now. One moment, please. Ha! Huh. Got it open. Okay, so you twist the little lid, and this thing pops out. This is a refill. I thought it was pretty cool. I got it for a dollar because it was on clearance. Not gonna lie, I got it like six months ago, at least six months ago. So I don't know if they still have this scent. It might be discontinued, but you just... And spray and it smells like lavender and juniper berries. I liked it. Okay, second one that I'm really digging. I got this at TJ Maxx. Everyone is talking about the whole dry shampoo hairspray stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to dry it. So I did. And I did the Baptiste. Dry shampoo. This is uh, the one with a hint of color, and this is the light blonde. And for this, when I do it on my hair and everything, it you'll notice it as soon as you spray it on. But once you kind of play with it and do this and stuff, you won't really get the the blonde streaks. It just kind of accentuates the blonde that you have in your hair. I like it. I really do. At TJ Maxx, it was $5.99, and this is compared to $8. I know that you can get this at your um, local drugstore, but I have no idea how much it is, since this is my first bottle of a dry shampoo, and I really like it. On the back, um, it tells you these lovely directions from this unknown woman that's illustrated in here. And pretty much, if you've never tried dry hairspray, um, dry shampoo hairspray, what it does is that when your hair is oily or when it just needs a little um, then you spray it on your roots, demonstrate, you take it, you shake it, spray it on your roots. And this is the one thing, though, is that it kind of smells, not going to lie. It doesn't smell like hairspray where it's all, like, scented and nice and everything. It's it's like a bug spray, not the mud. But it works. And I don't know, I I kind of like the scent. So, but you do that and you'll see like, hold on, there you go. You'll see like these little streaks and you just kind of go like this. A lot of people take a comb and wrap their hair and everything. But I try not to do that because it's really bad for your hair, especially when you have thin hair. Really like the product. Their bottles, their packaging is a lot of fun. There's like a leopard print one, um, there's a floral one, and yeah. So, but honestly, I'm gonna st be sticking to this one. I really like this one. Natural Roller Vitamin E. I swear by this stuff. I've been using this for about three and a half, four years now. It is made by Golden Way from Louisville, Kentucky. And it's just a natural roller. Just got a rolling point on it. And what I do with this, this is great to take off mascara, take off eye makeup, to put on your laugh lines, your concern lines, and then your, this crack in the middle. Like, I, I don't know what that is, but it's there and it's kind of annoying to me. So I put it on there. So what I do is I just go like this, roll it, 
roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and then go underneath my eyes at night, right before I go to bed. And that's all you got to do. And I love it. I use it for a lot of things. You can use it on your lips. You can use it on scars, which is really good if you had previous injury or recent injury and you want a little vitamin E oil on it. That will help for scarring. Um, I get this at Good For You Nutrition in Arnold, and this is the only where this is the only place where I could find it. And this one is old, but it says that the price on here was a little over five dollars. But this is an old, old one. So I don't know how much it is now, but I love it. It's, it's just great. I'll show you close up. It's awesome. I just, I can't say enough about this stuff. It's just vitamin E oil. It's just, but it's just so convenient because it blows my mind. So since I've been living in California, I cannot find Sunin, it's called. I still use it. I'm one of those people that still use Sunin on their hair. I've never dyed my hair, but I'll use Sunin on it. I, yeah. Um, so I couldn't find the Sunin, like I said, but out here they have the John Frieda, uh, Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray. And it's around seven or eight dollars for this. Sometimes you get lucky. And, um, in the penny savers, there's coupons where you get like 75 cents off or a dollar. So I usually wait around that time. There's an actual dollar off coupon on the box. So I got this again. I am though going to try this month to not use this. And I have this lightning, this lighting hair recipe that I found that I'm going to try. And if you guys want me to do that and put it on my hair and do like a little trial thing to see how it works, I'll definitely do that. It's this young, lovely lady from Australia that has this recipe and it looks like it could work. So, and it doesn't dry out your hair because this, I just, I do like this because this is the only thing I use to lighten my hair. I don't go outside much. The sun is just not my thing. I know. I'm in California, and just give me a rainy day. So I've been hooked on this tea for about two months. I saw it at my grocery store, Sprouts, and I really wasn't big on this tea at first because it has um, too much carbs and too much sugar for my liking. But I found the diet version of it, and I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Like. For real. So this is the Sweet Leaf Green Tea, all natural. It's USDA organic, and it's awesome. This one is the Mint and Honey, and honestly, out of all of them, I like the Diet better. After that, it would be the original, and then after that, I really wouldn't. Eh. I just they have peach. This one is a Mint and Honey. Um, it's all natural sugars and everything that they put in it. And, uh, they used to, from what I remember, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they said that they used to brew their tea in pillowcases. Which blows my mind. I'm like, pillowcases. That's awesome. This is 120, um, calories per bottle. I know some of them are 150 calories per bottle. The one that's diet, the only thing I have to say about the diet one is that it has sugar loaves in it. Not a big fan, but it has zero carbs, zero sugar, and I believe no calories in it. They, it might have like 10 or something in it, but it's really, really less. And I love it because each of them, when you open this little bottle, it's got this cute little grannyism. It's called it, it's the, the little granny on it. It's so cute. It's a little grainy on it. Well, I don't know what that is, but a little grainy. With some chapstick sticking out over here. And it has, um, grainyism, which is like words of wisdom. And this one says, spend more time on what makes you happy. Which is cute. And I think what I'm going to do is when I decide to do giveaways, which should be coming up in a little bit, I'm going to put one of these in each. 
box. Just because it's cute, because it just has, like, a little saying on it, and I just, I think it's cute. It's cute. Plus, it's a glass bottle. It's a glass bottle. Hello. Do you like the lips? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. So, this lip thing, I don't know. Knowing Mac, it's probably discontinued, because they do that a lot. But this is called Vibe. Frost? Frost Vibe. A74. And it's just this cool. You can't really see it on this camera. It's just this really cool shade. It's like a bronze, brownish, a little bit of, I don't know, metallic. i just been, this is another thing. I have lipsticks, like actual lipsticks, and MAC is the only brand that when I put my lips, my lipstick on my lips, that it becomes round. All the other ones are, like, has the nice little point still on it, and the MAC ones, like, I'm just, like, it's completely round by the end when I'm done. I don't know what that means. I feel like that's, that means something. This one is Desert Essence Daily Essential Depuffing Eye Cream. I've seen them at Sprouts, and, um, Whole Foods has it. I'm not sure if Trader Joe's has it. Maybe the bigger ones, but I don't think that they carry those aggressive. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but I'm just saying. Um, but I got this one, Good View Nutrition and Arnold, and I really like it. It's just a basic depuffing cream. Plus, it's a great moisturizer for underneath the eyes. Don't get it, like, really in the eyes because your eyes will start watering and everything from it so don't think of it as like oh it's lotion no big deal no big deal yeah it's kind of a big deal so don't do that just I mean, you just see it a little bit underneath the eyes and it just takes the puffiness out it's great right before you do makeup i usually do this when i don't have any makeup on and everything i just put this on and i'm like oh my eyes are beautiful another thing desert essence is like nature's gate um in Neil's Yard Remedies, it's just a very good, clean, cosmetic product. And uh, Desert Essence has cover-up and everything. Like, just check it out. It's a good brand. It's a good starter out brand. How about that? Okay, so the next one is called Willa. And this is the Naturals Fresh Face Cucumber Face Mask. And as you can see, I got it on clearance. It was a dollar seventy-five at Target, and then it was eighty-seven cents when I got it. And I was so excited. Excuse me, as I itch, itchy. And um, but yeah, it's just Willa is really good for all you teenagers out there um, that are just starting out in sort of a regiment for face, beauty, skincare products. Um, even at a dollar seventy five because I one of these packets will last you for a two to three applications. And what I do is I just take my foundation brush and because I, I usually I don't wear foundation. I just never do. If I do wear foundation, it will be under the eyes. I rarely, rarely wear foundation all over my face. I just I just really don't do it. So anyways, this is just a cucumber clay mask. And just take a brush, or you can take your fingers and just put it around your eyes, just like a mask, like a spa mask. And you'll feel tingling. Like, this is a mask I like because you feel it. You feel it tingle all over your face, and you're like, oh, I'm getting beautiful. You're beautiful already. But this just makes your skin feel soft. And I believe it was a mother and daughter that started this line. Um, I believe it was. It was some, it was a parent and a daughter that started this line and it was, it's really cool, their, their backstory. If you go, go on their website and check them out, um, they, they do really good on this. So yeah. Okay, so clay mask. This is Heather Lorraine's Apricot Oil Cosmetic. And it's pure and natural chemical free skincare. Our motto is, if you, if you wouldn't put it in your body, don't put it on your body. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, so this is all natural, no additives, no animal testing, and it's just this pure 
apricot oil. And what it is, it apricot oil too is slightly lighter than almond oil, but heavier than grapeseed oil. And I noticed that apricot oil absorbs great in my skin. I put this after I do like my vitamin E regimen, then I go back and I just need like a little, like a dime size amount, not joking you, of this. And here I'll show you what the front looks like. I just need a dime size amount of this and then I just rub it all over my skin. You can put it on your eyelids, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, but I just really like it and how I came by this is that when I went to go get a massage done for spa day, the lady was using this and I'm like, oh, what kind of like massage oil are you using? And she's like, apricot oil. And I know where I got this at the People's Co-op, it really wasn't that expensive. I think I spent like $5, but I know some other places it's probably more expensive than that. But this has lasted me for at least a good six months. I really like it. I hope you liked this video. You can find me on Facebook. Just type in the search bar, Sweet 16 Fan. Like that page and I'll quit bothering you, I promise. Also, you can find me on Pinterest. Pinterest? Pinterest. Tweet me something on Twitter. Because I feel like I'm a little bird that has no tweets. It's kind of sad. I don't like feeling sad. So tweet me something. Betsy Johnson did. Yeah. That's right. It was awesome. Also, you can find me on Google+, Plus, Tumblr, and I think that's it. So, yeah, thank you very much, and you guys have a great weekend. See you later.